Burr was born two months premature, so he was delivered at community and taken to Children's right away. I met Burr the first day that he was born. He spent his first six months at Children's. He didn't come home till he was six months old. And I spent a lot of time just as a respiratory therapist up there holding him on my lap, rocking him in the rocking chair, just trying to keep him calm, because if you could keep him calm, he was pretty good. But Burr, if you've met him, has quite a little spunk to him, and he was spunky then, and I think that's why he's done so well. When he was about 11, all of a sudden the bump started to develop on his back. His spinal deformity was this thing called scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine, and kyphosis, which is a uh, humping of the back from the side view. Dr. Albert was the lead surgeon. Um, they took pie-shaped wedges um, out of his vertebrae so that the bones could be lined up properly because they had grown so improperly. Um, line them up, fuse them, put rods in, 21 screws, and then some new straps that hold it all together. It is uh, uh, a different type of technique of fixing the spine to the uh, rods and we've done pro approximately 15 cases here at our uh, hospital and Burr uh, was our first kyphosis case that we've done in the United States with this type of technique. The surgery was June 5th. Fifth and then six hours. Six and a half hours of surgery. Six and a half hours and then in the recovery room. Right. Then I went to ICU. For two days. For two days and then went on to general for. It's a fairly standard type of spine surgery that we do here. We've done lots of these type of complicated uh, spinal deformity cases and he was happened to be one of our more severe deformity cases but uh, and uh, he thank God he's doing great and has had a very nice result. So he went in looking at me eye level to eye level five foot three and he came out and he's close to five seven. Because we corrected his deformity we were able to uh, make him much taller than he was prior to surgery so I think Burr's happy with his uh, alignment. I'm the tallest one in my school, in my class. <laughs> I think you are. He's got a very positive attitude. Um, you know, anytime there's a trip to Children's, he generally is looking forward to it and wants to go see his friends. <laughs> Roy down there, yeah. She was up in the NICU. She moved from the NICU to CT. I saw his name and I was so excited because I was going to get to see Burr again. And instead of having that little baby on my lap, here's a strapping big, nice looking boy. We have been coming to Children's for 12 and a half years since he was born. We have been all over and seen the changes. It's always been very positive. I think we'd be less likely to go to every single appointment and get the six month checkups if we had to drive two hours as opposed to the 45 minutes. When you have a child who has a lot of needs, that the whole family becomes a children's family. They're friendly and they're kind. When I need help, they're there. It makes me just really confident to know that one day I can be holding that sick of a child on my lap and the next day they can come in and give me a big hug.